With every new generation of DDR, the memory density and speed is increasing significantly. SDRAM is dynamic random access memory that is synchronized with the clock speed of CPU. SDRAM also stands for SDR SDRAM that is single data rate SDRAM. Single data rate means that SDR SDRAM can only read, write one bit of data in a clock cycle. It is required to wait for the completion of a command before transferring next read, write operation. SDR speed varies from 66 MHz to 200 MHz. DDR SDRAM is a double data rate SDRAM. It achieves the double data bandwidth without increasing the clock frequency by transferring data on both rising and falling edges of the clock signal. Prefetch buffer size is 2N, that is two data words per memory access, which is double of SDR SDRAM prefetch buffer size. DDR memories transfer N bits of data per clock cycle from the memory array to the memory internal I.O. buffer. This is called N bit prefetch. Similar to DDR1, DDR2 also transfers data at twice the clock speed, transferring data on the rising and falling edges of the clock signal. Also, the internal clock runs at half the speed of the data bus, leading to higher bus speed and lower power. All the above factors help DDR2 SDRAM to achieve four data transfers per internal clock cycle. The prefetch buffer of DDR2 is 4-bit. It is double of DDR SDRAM. The data rate of DDR2 is 400 Mbps to 800 Mbps. DDR3 transfers data at twice the rate of DDR2 SDRAM, enabling higher bandwidth and peak data rates. Two new features are also added, automatic self-refresh and self-refresh temperature range, leading memory to control the refresh rates according to the temperature variation. Its prefetch buffer width is 8-bit. DDR4 is able to achieve even higher speed and efficiency, though keeping the prefetch buffer size 8N, same as DDR3. The higher bandwidth is achieved by sending more read-write commands per second. DDR4 standard divides the DRAM banks into two or four selectable bank groups, where transfers to different bank groups can be done faster. Operating voltage of DDR4 is also less compared to DDR3. Few new features are also added, such as DBI, that is data bus inversion, CRC, that is cyclic redundancy check, and CA parity. These new features enhance DDR4 memory signal integrity and improve the stability of data transmission and access. The DDR5 SDRAM achieves higher speed by using 16N prefetch buffer. DDR5 divides the DRAM banks into two or four or eight selectable bank groups compared to DDR4, which uses up to four bank groups. Some new features are also added. One, write pattern command. It saves power by not sending the data across the bus. Two, enhanced PDA, using the CA interface as the only method for per DRAM addressability by having unique PDA enum ID assigned to each DRAM. As a result, subsequent commands need not to use the DQ signals to decide which DRAM is selected for the command. Three, write leveling two types of trainings. External WL training for cycle alignment like DDR4, internal WL training for phase alignment. 4. Support of various training like CA training, CS training, etc.